What's up, Wolfpack fam? It's your boy, Kid, back at it again. Hope you're doing well. Continue the journey. I'm already smiling and cheesing because I get to see Dad's army with the crew, Mannering, my boy Jonesy, Walker, the rest of the gang. Definitely excited. Just see what adventures they, you know, get into, what shenanigans, what shit they get into. Uh, it's always something we're looking forward to. And yeah, we're going to be getting this party started. Just don't forget, absolutely free to do, to subscribe to the channel. It, uh, you know, helps out the channel tremendously. Don't forget to like, comment, all those good things help out the channel as well and absolutely free to do and um shout out to the patrons as well let's get this party started snacks not included let's freaking go goes off to town on the a21 but he comes home each evening and he's ready with his gun so who do you think you are kidding mr hitler This war has now been in progress for 18 months. And it's becoming increasingly clear that Jerry is feeling the pinch. True, he's thrown us out of Greece, and he's thrown us out of Crete. But in both these cases, it was by using parachute troops. Now, there's no doubt about it, gentlemen. 1941 will go down in history as the year that the parachute revolutionized military strategy. Mind you, I saw all this coming a long time ago. But nobody listened to me. Oh. I can remember as far back as 1936. Uh, my wife and I were on holiday at Bogner, Bogner Regis. And uh, I went up for a five shilling trip in a biplane, Sir Alan Cobham's Flying Circus. And uh, we were soaring through the clouds, wind blowing in my face. I looked down. And suddenly, <laughs> <laughs> my man. it came to me in a flash. Parachute troops. So, I went straight back to the boarding house, to the hotel where we were staying. <laughs> and I wrote a long letter to the war office explaining the whole thing. And believe it or not, gentlemen, they didn't even bother to reply. Like our great leader, Winston Churchill, I was a voice crying in the wilderness. Wake up, England! <laughs> Perfect. Or was that Gilly Potter? <laughs> However, the boot, of course, now is on the other foot. And I'm in a position where my ideas are no longer ignored. Well, at least in Warmington on Sea. I have no doubt you, uh, you're wondering where all this is leading. If he doesn't hurry up, it'll lead to us not getting a drink. <laughs> what do you say, Fraser? Just thinking. Very profound, sir. Very profound thinking indeed. Thank you very much, Phil. <laughs> now, I've received a, a memo here from GHQ, a copy of which has been sent to all Home Guard units, and I'm going to read it to you. To all ranks of the Home Guard, in order to create alarm and confusion, the enemy has recently been dropping numerous empty parachutes in the southern counties. In future, all parachutes found must be reported at once to GHQ. Permission to speak, sir? Yes, Gordon. Well, supposing one of our British lads, he jumped out of his aeroplane wearing his parachute and having landed on the ground, he divests himself of same and then walks away. And then we're, we're marching along, you know, a bit nonchalant, and then one of us despise it and might gesticulate towards it, you see. Now, we, we do know not know if it is his. You know, because he walked away previous. What we want to know is, how do we know it's a British parachute or an un one? <laughs> Very good question. Yes, yes, sir. Uh, beautifully phrased. <laughs> <laughs> well, it so happens, Jones, that the answer to your question is here in this memo. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Our parachutes are pure white. Nazi parachutes are a dirty off white. <laughs> Creamy colour. As one might have expected, of course. Well, there's your answer. If it's not white, it's not one of ours. Thank you, sir. Now, it's my considered opinion that there's more in this memo than at first meets the eye. Mm. As you know, Rudolf Hess was dropped into this country by parachute some six weeks ago, since when we've heard nothing. But it's quite obvious to me that the rats are leaving the sinking ship. And for all we know, many other Nazi leaders may have been dropped into the country. Mr. Mannering? Yes? 
That new commissioner down at the cinema looks awfully like her Hitler. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah. All right, all right, oh, all right. Shit. Settle, settle down. That may sound absurd, but that's exactly the sort of thing that we should check against. Uh, Wilson, yes. Next time you go to the pictures, ask to see that man's identity card. I'd love it. Come on, Lisa. Even if we're two friends in empty parachute, by the time we report to HQ, whoever was at the other end of it could be miles away. Why shouldn't we use that track? Our dogs are a good dog could smell the parachute and lead us direct to whoever came down in it. Yes, yes, that's an excellent idea, Phillips. The only thing is, I don't know whether any of us has a dog. Yeah, I think I know where I can lay my hands on a dog, sir. <laughs> is he a smeller? Hey? Give him a scent. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, anything you like. Is, is it fierce? Yeah, yeah, anything you like. Oh, dear. <laughs> well, where do we have this dog here? Oh, I don't know, sometime tomorrow night. Good, good, right. Right, well, let's settle. That's all, then. Dismiss the man, Sergeant. All right, sir. Right, platoon. Attention. All right, dismiss. Have a good drink, Joe. Yeah, look, I want to have a word with Captain Manor, and uh, I'll see you down there in a minute, all right? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Uh, can I have a word with you, sir? Yes, yes, certainly, Walker. What do you it's, think? Uh, it's a little bit intimate. Well, I think I'll go if you don't mind, sir. No, 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 don't go, Will. Oh. Might be able to give some advice. No, it's advice. You don't mind if Sergeant. No, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> intimate, eh? Well, Walker, <coughs> I hope that in addition to being your commanding officer, I'm also your friend. What is it? Well, uh. Look, come on. Is it a woman? It's a woman? Hey. <laughs> woman trouble? Is it a woman? I think I will go if you don't mind. No, 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 it's not a woman, no. No, it's not a woman, no, it's a parachute. I found one. Oh, is that all? But it... When? <laughs> when did but, you find this? About two weeks ago in the woods. Why didn't you report it? Well, I mean, I didn't know anything about it. You've only just told us. Well, you should have done something about it. Well, I did do something about it. What did you do? Oh. <laughs> Why had it made up into eight dozen pairs? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. Eight dozen pairs. Eight dozen pairs of what? Eight dozen pairs of ladies' knickers. <laughs> ladies' knickers. Holy shit! Ladies' knickers. <laughs> Here we are fighting for our lives. Our backs to the wall. Rations cut to the bone. Sleepless nights. The whole Nazi war machine poised just across the channel. And you have a parachute made into eight pairs of ladies' knickers. <laughs> I do wish you'd stop using that word. Sir. <laughs> all right, bloomers. <laughs> well, I mean, I wasn't. I know I wasn't. I mean, up they're all. I mean, it was just lying there on the ground, wasn't it? I mean, I mean, nobody wants an empty parachute, do they? I thought to myself, all that lovely silk going to waste. All right. Was it one of ours or one of theirs? Hey? <laughs> Our parachutes are white. Nazi parachutes are cream. Was it white or was it cream? I don't remember. Well, go get a pair and find out. No, I can't do that because I uh, sold them all down on my stall in the market last Saturday. Here, they went like hot cakes. Well, there must be some odd bits of material lying about. Go and get some of those. You know, but I can't do that. You see, uh, I gave this fella the old parachute to make up for me. Well, go and find him. Well, no, that'd be a bit dodgy, because he uh, moves around a bit. You know what I mean? He's, uh... Now, look. We've got to get our hands on a pair of these ladies' uh, under things. <laughs> We've got to find out whether they're white or whether they're cream. Now, look here, sir. If, if Walker's made up eight dozen pairs of this uh, lingerie... This what? <laughs> <laughs> lingerie. I mean, there must be plenty of people who bought them. Yes, yes, that's good thinking, Wilson. Yeah. Yes, there must be plenty about. Now, here, Walker, you come to the bank tomorrow afternoon, half we've closed, and we'll make some inquiries. We'll find out whether they're white or whether they're cream. We've got to get to the bottom of this. <laughs> <laughs> Great word. <laughs> Shit. Now, just leave this to me. We shouldn't have any trouble here. Everybody knows me in Warmington on Sea. It goes without saying that as bank manager, I command a great deal of respect. Good afternoon, sir. We don't want any. <laughs> <laughs> My ass, man. Perhaps we'd better try the next house. You know you don't want to give up as easy as that, Mr. Manor. Here, come on, let me try. Now, you've got to be persistent, you know what I mean? I mean, you've got to use the old technique. Put in a door, you know? Yeah, I'll show you. Ah, good day, sir. Uh... <laughs> oh! <laughs> that worked out. Should be a pushover. Good day, sir. I believe your missus has got a pair of my pants. You're all tricks again, are you, eh? Oh, oh Tim, you got me all wrong. I'll teach you, my girl. I'll teach you. Oh, 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 oh,
Holy shit. Yes. I think we'll move on. <laughs> Poor girl. Holy shit. That was very quick. <laughs> Good afternoon, madam. I'm sure you know me. I'm Mr. Mannering, the manager of the Swallow Bank. We're here on a rather delicate mission, but it's quite official. I wish to see your underwear. <laughs> <laughs> ascertain whether it's white or cream. Now, oh, wow. A perfectly simple explanation for this. You see, it was hanging down. How dare you! All right, listen. Better try the next one. Oh, yeah, that's shit. wise, sir. Don't get on with it, man. Oh, man. Yeah, take him off. Well, nobody's going to bite you. Oh, Can't be too sure, sir. Hello. Good afternoon. Well, what can I do for you? But, but the fact is, I, uh, uh, I, uh, uh, Yes? We, uh, uh well, uh, I'd, um... Get on with it, please. What? Drooling. Uh, yes, uh, of course. Uh, I was just wondering if I could possibly... If you wouldn't mind if I just... Just twist it. Oh, really? Whoa! Come on in, won't you? No, thank you very much. <laughs> Holy shit! Just him. Excuse me, sir. I won't be in the Oh, my God! What the hell? Here, yeah, Mr. Mannering. Have you noticed the extraordinary influence that Mr. Wilson seems to have over women? I'm getting rather tired of Wilson's sordid little peccadillos, Walker. <laughs> Discuss them here. They bore me. He's smooth. Sorry I spoke. Well, thank you, and good day. You're welcome. Here's your friend. Wow. My well, man. Were they white or were they cream? Oh, no. Actually, they were blue. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Guess you don't got them. Surely we're bound to have some luck here. Well, I don't think there's anyone at home, sir. Yeah, hang on. I'll have a look through the letterbox. Hello? There's a little boy standing in the hall. Hey, hey little boy, do you mind me at home? He's all alone in the house. That's no good, is it? You know, hang on, hang on, wait a minute. I've got an idea. Hey, little boy, come here. I want to ask you something. Here, now, look, put your ear down against the letterbox. Will you go upstairs, have a look in your mother's bedroom? I don't like the look of this, Wilson. Out. You never know what Walker's up to. <coughs> That's all right. I fixed it. That's him, Walt. Oh, aye, it's you, aye, is it? Aye. I might have guessed. I've had complaints. You've been knocking at doors, asking funny questions. He ought to be put away. Fine. Clear off and go home. I've read about people like him in the news of the world. All right, come on, what's your game? <laughs> I can assure you, Warden, there's a perfectly innocent explanation for all this. Yay, <laughs> 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 yay. Yeah, yeah. That was a good lad. So welcome in me while I'm walking through my... Now, I want you to imagine you're marching along, see, you're marching along, and suddenly you're attacked by enemy gunfire. Now, what do you do? Kneel down. <laughs> you don't need to do anything silly like that. You don't know. You fall flat on your face. Now then, whatever happens, as soon as you're attacked by enemy gunfire, you've got to remember four very important things. First... <laughs> <laughs> down, crawl, observe and fire. Have you got that? Yep. Right. <clears throat> so, I'm marching along, aren't I? I'm marching along like this. I'm marching along... Now, you've got to be the Nazi machine gunner, Pikey. As soon as I march round the corner, let me have it, all right? Yes, all Jones. the rest of you boys, you've got to go right out tat and back him up with machine gun fire, right? Right, so I'm marching along, a lovely sunny day, the birds are singing. Uh, shall I make the bird noises? No, no, no. <laughs> no, we won't bother with the bird noises. It's yeah, right. good at bird noises. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm marching along. So you I'm keep saying, Junta, get on with money. Yeah, all right. Don't give us a chance. Give us a chance, right? I'm marching along. <laughs> it's no use waving your hand, you're dead. I'm not dead, I'm marched round the corner yet. Gotta wait till I march round the corner. Right now, I'm marching along, I'm and I come around the corner now, let me have a Yeah, I don't know if you noticed that, but I didn't do that the normal man, I done that in slow motion. What's the difference? Now look, you see you take the rest of my body is resting on my right arm and my rifle is sticking up in the air. Yeah, because I don't like it up them. No, I don't. Like it. <laughs> now right. So that's the down part, the down part. So now here comes the crawl, right? A crawl, now down, crawl, a crawl. Up, 
Observe, observe, and fire, fire, bang, M Mr. Jones, bang, fire, M Mr. Jones, fire. What is it? What is it? <laughs> Help him off. <laughs> Watch up, Pikey. But why do you waste all that time crawling away from where you fell down before you fire? That's a very good question, and there's a very simple answer to that. See, when as soon as you got down, the enemy had been watching the spot where you got down. On the other hand, if you crawled away and started to fire before you crawled away from the spot where you got down, the enemy would know where you were, and as they're already watching the spot where you got down. If, however, you crawl away and then start firing off, you crawled away in another spot apart from the spot where you got down, the enemy would be most surprised, because they're still watching the spot where you got down, and not the spot where you walked away previous. Who got that? <laughs> Up to where you said it was simple, yes. Right. <laughs> well, go and fetch Mr. Mannering, and we're going to show him everything I taught you. Right, Blast boys. Me. Right. Round and attack. Down. 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 Right. Crawl. 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 Smell of jokes. Oh, don't be cheeky. That's a tracking dog. Mr. Manning asked me to get. Oh, hello, Mr. Manning. There we are, one tracking dog, as ordered. Oh, well. That's a very nice animal. Um, you managed to get hold of any of those? Um... No, no, not a single pair. In that case, I don't think we're ever going to know whether they were white or cream. Look, we've got to find out whether they were. Anyway, let's stop discussing now. Let's yes. uh, have a look at this dog. Yes. Oh, he looks all right, but. Uh... You're sure he has the stamina to track over miles and miles of country? Of course, he's, this dog he's got, of course he's got stamina. He can go on for days. Full of life. Yes. Well, I think the best thing we do with him is try him out under actual combat conditions, yeah. don't you? Right, so, yes. Soon find out whether it's a tracker or not. Now, we should need somebody to, uh, to be a Nazi paratrooper so that the dog can get the scent. Mr. Speak, sir, I'd like to, to be a Nazi paratrooper so the dog can get my scent. <laughs> oh, you don't need a dog for that. <laughs> <laughs> Nice one. Now look, take the dog out and the rest of the platoon. <laughs> and as soon as Jones has laid the scent, I'll blow a whistle and you come back in. All right? Right, sir. Right up. Off you go. Oi. Your man is. It's awfully relaxed, isn't it? Straight chilling. Well, let's hope he turns out to be a good tracker. It might yes. be quite a. An asset to the platoon. Yes, it is, yes. <laughs> now, you're the, you're the Nazi paratrooper. Right, sir, right, sir. Just a minute. Just a minute. Just a minute. What do you think he'd better be? Do you think he'd better be a Nazi war leader or a spy or a saboteur? I think he'd better be a saboteur, Sam. I mean, if it was a Nazi leader coming to give himself up, I mean, he'd hardly be running away, would he? No. Well, that's very good thinking, Wilson. Good. Yes. Right. Now, you'd better be... <coughs> you'd better be a saboteur, you see? Right, now, you've been dropped by, by parachute, uh, and you're going to blow up a key position. Right, sir. Right? Right, sir. All right, take off your blouse. What for, sir? So that you can lay a trail for the scent of the oh, dog. Oh, I see. Right, sir. Right, sir. Yes. Yes. Now, am I? I'm pretending to be a saboteur, am I now, sir? That's right. Right, and I, I've got to give it right away now. Right, Get it on now. Right, sir. Right. Oh, so this is Warmington on Sea. Ha ha. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll blow up the key position. I think I'll blow up the bank. Yes. Uh, <coughs> I'd uh, <laughs> make that the town hall. Yes. <laughs> I think I'll make that the town hall. Right. I'd better nick off before someone spots me. Here we go. Hi. <laughs> there we are, sir. I made the smell. <laughs> <laughs> I've laid a scent. Oh, that's very nice of you. Thank you very much. <laughs> right. Here we go, then. Right, there's the parachute. Right. See if the dog can take the scent up. Right. Eh? Another sniff. That's it. Oh, 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 oh. Jesus, bro. Out of the way, out of the way. Get up! Oh, 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 oh. He's got it.
startle me like that. I'm not sorry, I didn't mean to startle you, but how much longer are you going to be? You haven't forgotten it's our tater tate supper tonight, have you? Potato supper? Tater tate supper, Mr. Mannering. You see, tonight is the anniversary of when we first met. We always have a little tater tate supper every year. And I don't want it being ruined by him being late. Ah, Mavis, please, please. Now, look, Mrs. Spike. I cannot have your domestic affairs interfering with the running of my platoon. Oh, here we are. Come on, do this. Oh, 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 go down to the town hall, sir. Go down to the town hall. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Here. Easy. Mr. Mannering, I've just remembered. I sold the last pair to Mrs. Pike. It was a British parachute. Look. I do think you might have told us, Wilson. <laughs> What's the birdie? Come on and give it all you got. What's the birdie? Just look around and pick the spot and hold it. Uh oh. Blind. Shit. Excuse, please. No, uh, am I can't you see I'm busy? I wish please to know the way to Downs and Woods. Where? Downs and what? what? You see, it's marked here on the map. Oh, yes, it's about a mile over there in that direction. Ah, Can't miss you. it. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Ruddy thing. Uh, uh, uh. Go, troops. At the double. <laughs> Get them, boys. Here, yeah, Godfrey, cop hold of that. Come on, boys. Come on. Come on, ladies. There we go. Caught him red-handed, right? Keep him going, man. Yes, sir. Out you come with your hands up. Oh, still got plenty of fight in him, has he? Grab him. Get him, boys. <laughs> all right, all right, let's see what we've caught. Get out your banner. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Right, sir. Right, sit it up. I'll slit him open, all right, sir. <laughs> hey, oh, Mr. Jones. Right, right. Stick it right up him. All right. Oh. <laughs> you, you ruddy hooligans! <laughs> hey, Mr. Mallory, look what the dog's doing. I do believe he's picking up the scent. Shit. Yes, he's got it. Come on, man. <laughs> 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 Come back! <laughs> 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 Fucking warning. Go get him, doggy. Oh, right, we've got him. Jones. Yes, sir. Tell him to come out with his hands up. Oi! Come see out with Panty Hook! <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> He's not German. He's Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Mallory, Mr. Mallory. Yes, what is it? Are you looking for a man with a German accent? Of course I'm looking for a man with a German accent. Well, one came up to me while I was getting that parachute out the trees. That was his parachute, you fool. He asked me the way to Down in Woods. Downs in Woods. Come on. Ah, damn it, Warden. Hand me the glasses, Wilson. Right. Can any of you men see anything? No, sir. That's, that's Downs and Wood. Look, sir. There's somebody up that tree. Look. That's him, all right. It's music, man. Love it. I think all these trees are confusing him, sir. There he goes. Come on.
Morning. He must have been a saboteur. He's blown the building up. Very <laughs> absurd. That was bombed in an air raid last year. <laughs> oh, that's why we didn't hear the bang. Oh, don't be ridiculous. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> He, he, he's gone inside, sir! Right. Pass drill, men. Get rid of the dog. Uh, Mr. Mannering, I'll, I'll wait round the corner if you don't mind. <laughs> right, Walker. Shit. Right, come on again, sir. You're not going to get it, you understand? You're not going to get it. I've waited years for this. I've schemed and I've planned. I'm not going to give it up now. Look, he's got a bomb. No. Oh, 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 blimey. Oh, no, not to me. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> don't panic. Don't panic. This is not a bomb. It's too late. It's, a, yeah. it's an egg. Give it to me. It's mine. Well, aren't you a German saboteur? No. I'm a Viennese ornithologist. A bird watcher, sir. Right. I read in one of the papers that that a golden oriole had been spotted in these woods. It's a very, very rare bird. All my life I've wanted one of the eggs. I was determined to get one. You should have come to me. <laughs> Why did you run away like that? What's a protected bird? It's against the law to take the eggs. Good oh, Lord, man. You might have been shot out of hand. Hence the expression, a bird in the hand worth two in the bush. <laughs> Where is the commandant? I... Why do you keep running away? I have been trying to give myself up. <laughs> Holy shit! Such a goofball! Lady. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got to talk about it. Don't go anywhere. Man, this episode was goofy, wacky, fun, you name it. Hold on a second. Just the right amount of laughs, keeping you guessing just when you think it's this damn, you know, you got the egg snatcher, the egg watcher, a bird watcher. You know, you think this is this is the German guy, but no, he's not the German guy. And then you get this guy coming in at the end, you know, he's all, you know, dirty and shit. And he's coming to pretty much, you know, you know, turn himself in and shit. So uh, a nice little surprise laugh there at the end. Definitely think there was plenty of laughs on this episode. Godfrey had me dying in the beginning when my man is nodding off. And even in the perfect timing when, he, the you know, Mandarin is like, you know, looking down and shit and, and my man's just sleeping and shit. So, you know, not the best Mandarin speech, putting him to sleep and putting maybe some others to sleep as well. Definitely a good episode. Started off a little slow, minus the, you know, the boring speech part. And um, it ended up picking up. Business is about to pick up. You find out my man's walker had to say some intimate shit with my man Wilson wanted to leave right away uh, during that uh, bit. He's like, no, nah, no, nah, you got, you know, Manner is like, oh, yo, stay. We might need your expertise or, you know, you to assist on this matter. And, you know, you find out. We already know that my man's walker is the definition of a hustler. He has the hustler's ambition. No, no thing goes um you know, no item goes untouched, essentially, you know, he will find a way to make some profit, you know, and, you know, he essentially, he made, uh, you know, he got some, you know, women's panties and shit, you know what I mean, you got Wilson that can't even utter the words and shit, lingerie, I think he said like lingerie, but in a more sophisticated way, uh, uh, you know, when he was saying it, and I gotta say, my man, Wilson, and we know he's he is essentially the a, a ladies man. God damn, man. he got he got the Midas touch. He got the 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 wordplay, whatever you want to call it. He is smooth. Uh, 
that lady, that beautiful lady, you know, you, you know, Walker was trying to get in that shit. And, and, you know, uh, when he saw that, he was like, damn, I'm, I'm thinking in his head. He's probably saying, God damn, I should have been the guy knocking on that door right there. And yeah, well, he, he got to the bottom of that business. Why the cream? Nah, it's none of that shit, ladies and gentlemen. It is blue. So that those bits going door to door was absolutely crazy. Mannering getting smacked down. It definitely feels like he don't get it. Well, he's already had a black eye before from the missus, and now he's got a, a, a lady here. She smacked the shit out of him. Obviously, you know, that that moment there was great. Walker getting hit on the foot. You know, he's like, nah, let's not leave right away. That shit didn't work out. But, man, again, let's give some props to my boy uh, Wilson. And, again, he gets in hot water with Mavis and shit. But I don't know what, you know, she she lit up. You know, he whispered in her ear, you know, ooh la la, whatever the hell he said. And, bam, come on, just you, just you, buddy. Oh, my God. So that moment there was dope. Definitely funny moment. Um much props to the warden. As much as he sometimes rags on the crew, he he's just as goofy and, and, and does silly stuff just as much as the rest of the gang. So uh, we love that Pike was like, yeah, he did a Jonesy's line, stick him right up, eat, so, uh, up him. And, you know, that shows Jonesy's influence and shit. And I love that he was like, slice him up, you know, when and when these guys are just like jumping at him. And, oh, man, what a great moment there with the parachute thing. And yeah, definitely interesting. I, ladies and gentlemen, uh, you know, throughout this episode with the white or the cream, guys, call, call me. I, I, I couldn't tell the difference on that shit. They both look the same to me. I don't know. My, my screen is black and shit. Maybe I need a new monitor or some shit, but I couldn't tell the freaking difference on that shit. Um, obviously, we know what cream is, but yeah, to me, that shit just looked white, man. But um, yeah, it was a very cool episode because uh, with this parachuting thing, you know, obviously, you got Mandarin giving the most boring speech possible there, but man, from being on the chase for finding panties and shit like that. I mean, this show never ceases to amaze me. And what kind of shenanigans these guys are going to get into. It surprises me week to week. I mean, like, man, they sure know how to spice it up. Definitely plenty of laughter, plenty of great um, moments there. And, and and just the simple things that we pick up on that we enjoy. Um, the bond between Walker and Jonesy. He's like... Before he went to go tell about his intimate thing that he was doing, you got Jonesy like, yo, you want to go out for a drink? So we love that friendship there that is bloomed and, and you know, uh, you know, two of my favorite characters by far right now. And um, Godfrey just amazing in this situation with his dog situation. So you had Frazier. I believe it was Frazier basically like, yo, let's get a dog and shit. So this whole, you know, shenanigan, you know, chasing around, running around, you know, the troops, uh, man, I just love it. And the the music that accompany, accompanies this is great too, because it kind of reminds me a little bit of like Looney Tunes or some of the cartoons when you have like this little chasing kind of scenario, you insert some kind of music like that. It was feeling like those old school cartoons. So that added to the tension, the, the overall silliness of the episode. And just, I, I, ladies and gentlemen, say probably 9,000 times already, but just loving the show. The characters are just phenomenal, man. Uh, you know, these guys going up the stairs, chase, you know, the dog going up the stairs to go get this guy sent. Mrs. Pike coming in, uh, bitching, uh, you know, essentially... Uh, he's got to come home, you know, early, you know, so we get this thing done. It's our anniversary, blah, 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 you know, and then the dog runs and she's screaming and shit like that. And then my boy Walker coming in. Oh, shit. I forgot, you know, we sold it to, you know, Mrs. Pike and, 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 and you know, Mrs. Pike and shit. And, and, and freaking Manor is like, why didn't you tell us this uh, for Wilson? Why didn't you tell us this shit sooner and shit? <laughs> it's a damn dope episode plenty of laughs don't panic don't panic i find I, I be saying that shit a lot more now shit uh you know i just yeah just you start picking up a lot on these lines you start grabbing a, a lot of these sayings here uh you know even obviously wasn't in this episode but Pike, you stupid boy it, it, it's cool you know that's one thing that we love about shows there's always some catchphrases whether you're watching you know, Ofa, you know, and you got Lovely Jubbly, you know, you got Still Game, Two Pints, Your Prick, you know, you know, 
I, I love just picking at these lines. I'm sure, obviously, a lot of you guys have been using these lines for years and years and years, you know, growing up watching a lot of these shows. But, yeah, we're we, we snatching at them, we're stealing them, and we're using them because um, these shows bring me plenty of joy. So uh, another banger of an episode started off slow again, but then business picked up, uh, and then it got really interesting with this, you know, the panties, ch checking for the panties and shit, and, and then the parachute trooper, uh, you know, with this bird watcher. So it got interesting. A lot of crazy shit going on. It just, it really does keep my interest week to week. Um, very glad, very happy to be watching Dad's Army. Um, some of you guys watching for the first time and shit like that. So uh, enjoy it. Thank you for hanging out. Thanks for liking, commenting. Uh, you know, don't forget to subscribe. It is absolutely free to do. Turn on that notification bell so you don't miss a beat. Massive shout out to the patrons as well. Thank you for the massive support. Appreciate it. Links is always in the description section if you are curious enough. And, um, you know, just thank you for hanging out, watching all that good stuff. So enjoy your weekend. Have a blessed weekend. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Peace.